Teachers of Reddit. What is your this student is so smart it's scary story? One of my kindergartners just knows multiplication. And not just the basic 5s or 10s. In the beginning when his parents told me I played along with 2x2 or 10x10 but you can tell him 17x14 and he knows it instantly. I had a student ask for an extension on their paper because they were representing our nation in the World Science Festival. They came in third. And the paper was an A+. I was doing a 500 piece puzzle with some kids, I was a preschool teacher. We finished the puzzle. Except for one piece. Which was nowhere to be found. Kid comes and takes one look at the puzzle on the table. Says. Oh. Are you missing that? I know where it is. Reaches into another completely different 500 piece puzzle. Rummages for like 10 seconds. Pulls the piece out. Fits it in. I ask him how he knew it was there. He said he had done the other puzzle for a bit and noticed it. I asked him how long ago. Christmas. He says. It was February at the time. Kid was maybe 5 at the time. Might be more memory than intelligence. But that was crazy to see. Such a great kid. In somewhat dire circumstance. I hope he's gotten all the opportunities he deserved. I once had a pre-kindergarten who could read. And cried because he was so upset with how dumb the rest of the kids were. I work with 18-24 month olds and we have an 18 month old who can have little conversations. Perfect sentence structures. Perfect verb conjugation. Perfect pronunciation. Even L and R. Comma knows all the alphabets. Numbers. Colors. Shapes. By sight. Some of the others know some of those things but I've never seen a baby this advanced. I sometimes forget she's only one year old because she seems more like three. Five. Just tiny like a one year old. Her dad brought her back from a well baby checkup telling us that the doctor asked does she say any words yet? And we all lolled cause she has full conversations. My son spoke in full sentences by 18 months. Reading by two. Five. Could add. Subtract and multiply etc before preschool. He's now 21. Unemployed and spends all day playing games online Nareosu's copyright a ring still smart as though. Had a first grader figure out exponents on his own. Edit. Also to note. The kid knew numbers but we had to read the directions to him because he couldn't read well enough yet. I taught high school math. One of my freshman students divided 1134 by 63 in his head in less than a second. I let him finish the problem. And then after he arrived at his answer. I asked him how did you do that? He looked at me with this blank stare as if he was thinking you can't do that. Apostrophe. He proceeded to say well I doubled 63 and then multiplied that by 10. And then I saw that 1134 was just the difference of those two numbers. So 18. Looked at me like it was nothing. I told him good work and moved on. I'm only above average at a few things. But one of them is mental math. When I saw that this kid could do this calculation that I couldn't. I was so happy. It was one of my happiest moments as a teacher. I didn't help him in that moment. But to know I played a small part in his math education felt so good. Edit. Okay. I get it. You're all geniuses. I wish I had you all in my math class. Not a teacher but a proud big brother. My baby sister was 5 when I came home from college for the summer after actually figuring out calculus. And I explained it to her. And she wrote it down in her journal. Yes. She kept one from the time she was about 4. Fast forward after she skipped a few grades in elementary school and she was taking calculus in high school. And could not understand why it was so easy. And reread her journal. Figured it out. And called me. Laughing. She has a PhD in high energy physics and does research at CERN. Yeah. That stuff. Desperately proud of her. Not a teacher. But a kid in my grade ended up taking courses two years ahead of the rest of us advanced kids. The funny part was that he skipped his own mother's class and wrote novels during middle school math. 
He's published 3 books and currently has over 95% in every class. I have a 5 year old this year who has stolen my wallet more times than I'd like to admit. From my pocket. Without me knowing. I now wear a wallet chain like I don't remember what decade it is. He still tries but he hasn't figured out a workaround. Yet. Nah man. He's even smarter than that. Now that he's trained you to be obsessed with the wallet. And you think that's all he cares about too. He's in the clear to start stealing other things. Check your desk. I'm a piano teacher on the side. Teaching a 4 year old how to read sheet music before she can read books. I ask her to find the season she will point then out on the page act. She can also do math really well and understands the concept of multiplication. Also another student that just started and plays by ear and composes her own pieces at 8. She also speaks 5 languages which I didn't find out until I told her I was learning German. After teaching her for 3 months she is already to the point where I had to send her to a better teacher. Obligatory not a teacher comment. There was once a kid in the grade above me in middle school that hacked the school database and deleted everyone's grades. He was expelled. Edit. This was about 6 years ago. And it wasn't just as easy as using a teacher's username and password. As teachers only had access to change grades in their own classes. He was caught because he bragged about it. He was just one of those kinds of kids. Kid took the fat highlighters. Cut them open and removed the insides and replaced it with weed. Sold them at school. He was caught. But only because a kid snitched after they were caught getting high. Absolutely brilliant. Hi, lighters. It's right there in the name. My mom was a student teacher in the early 1970s. She recounts the story of a gifted first grader that nobody really knew how to handle. Every day her mentor would give the child a copy of the New York Times and let him read during her class. Much later my mom was working as a speech therapist and had a severely autistic child that would come in daily. After their lessons he would spend his free time drawing elaborate, and accurate, city maps on the whiteboard. It was fascinating. Worked at a special purpose preschool designed for kids on the autism spectrum. Did an intake day with a kiddo. 4YO, where I was just trying to have fun and see what kind of things he liked. Did some time on the computer where we surfed around YouTube a bit. He searched up a video about our solar system. And began to explain to me the difference between the inner solar system and the outer solar system. What they're made of. Sizes. Electromagnetic fields to compensate for distance from the sun. ETC. I had to google everything he ws saying. Because I had no idea if it was true. Spoiler alert. It was. A student at my school had OCD so just memorized the textbook and wrote out the correct chapter for each question. Also their handwriting was so neat that it looked like it had been typed out with a typewriter. Not a teacher. But had a classmate who was, and still is, a genius. I distinctly remember him asking very complex questions on the current reading literature and making constructive arguments. It was over my head. But our teacher was offended and argued back that he didn't understand anything and or an overachiever. I think they were over her head as well. She screamed at him and stormed out of class a number of times. There was a time she asked him to leave as well. I never felt so bad for a classmate. He didn't deserve to be yelled at like that. I believe he's now a mathematician with published works and awards as well as a successful musician. My mother told me a story once of a kid she went to high school with. This kid was the local stoner but incredibly smart. I have a student who is an immigrant that speaks fluent English. I assume that she grew up in the USA. She told me she had been here for a year and knew zero English before coming. I was amazed. I have another student who just does calculations instantly in his head. He doesn't have to think. When he learns more math it just becomes automatic. He explained that numbers just make sense. I'm not a teacher, I'm a student. But one of my classmates just has so much random sht memorized. Ask him about anything. Like the Crimean War. How to build a combustion engine. 
random useful bits of information about bands from the 70s. As well as being an excellent student in every single subject. He's also managed to teach himself Cyrillics or whatever that Russian alphabet thing is. And can speak Russian pretty well. Despite never having taken a class of its in his life. IDK. It's just nuts he's so good at so many random things. I had a kid who could take one look at a national flag and then point to the corresponding country on an unlabeled world map. Instantly. Nah. I think that kid spent too many hours playing grand strategy games. I teach kids with autism that learn on the alternate curriculum, usually lower level academics, and have cognitive delays. I'm always amazed that while they might struggle in one area the strengths they have. I had one girl who knew everyone's birthday, everyone she met, day month year and age. She could also do crazy math in her head. I have another kid who is minimally verbal but knows every locker combination in the school. Two others who are amazing artists. Another who could tell you what 80s movie icon shared a birthday with you. I love my kids. A kid's work kept deleting itself on a computer every few minutes. He was having a meltdown and I saw it happen it was impossible to explain the phantom deleting that was going on. Fast forward to the end of the class and there's one kid remaining. That was sitting at the opposite computer from the kid who lost all his work. He looks at me and says you wanna know how I did sir? He had put in a USB keyboard into the back of the computer and had it set up so he could hit the delete key with his big toe. It was the funniest stealth attack I'd seen in a long time. Being the teacher I should have done something but it was too funny and smart. Former school aide here. I once had a very tiny lad surprise me. For typical development would be learning basic alphabet recognition and first sounds towards word forming. However. He took some play clay and made her and pan plan plane planet planets across the table and wandered off again. I feel so incredibly stupid reading all of these comments lol. Scroll through without seeing anything familiar. That's about right. My friend took the ACT when we were in 7th grade and got a 31. I don't know how because they don't teach you half of that material until high school. Hell of a guy though. Would intentionally get questions wrong on really difficult tests so he wouldn't kill the curve for the rest of us. Not a teacher. But had a classmate in my American government class in a community college about 9 stroke 10 years ago. Our teacher gives 3 questions for you to pick one of them to write about for the test in essay format. You get the question about a week or so to prepare you to study your subject's question. Most people write an average of 5-8 pages during the test. This guy writes around 20 pages. Give or take. Even the teacher was dumbfounded. He did this for every test and this is a 3 term class, you don't have to take all terms. Or even take it order if you happen to do all 3. Yes. He got A's. He wanted to get into politics. I heard of overachievers. But. WTF. Who does that? Since I'm not a teacher either. My mom was a very average student. Didn't try very hard. And was not planning to go to college. Back when she was in school. They used to administer IQ tests. A couple of months after she takes an IQ test. The school calls my grandparents and says we need to talk about your daughter. Everyone is like oh lord what did she do now? They both go to the school and the principal sits them down. Your daughter has an IQ of 140. But she's failing algebra. We think you should send her to a psychiatrist. My grandfather was livid as I took off work for this. No she never saw a psychiatrist. And she didn't go to college. But she's pretty smart. I had a first grader with a speech impediment who was asking for a type of book. His peers and I couldn't understand him no matter how hard we tried. Finally. He gave up and without any frustration. He found a picture book with someone stirring a pot on the cover. He opened the book and skimmed through words until he found what he was looking for. The word cooking. He showed me the book and pointed. Telling me that was the word he had been trying to say. He wanted a cookbook. This was a 6 year old. 6. 
my mom had a special needs student who went on some field trip to one of the NASA centers. I don't remember where. His dad was an IT guy I think. And had been teaching this kid, around 10 years old I think. Comma stuff on the side because he was all about computers. Kid wandered off and apparently found some office or computer lab or something unlocked. Walked in. Sat down at a computer. Figured out how to unlock that terminal. And started browsing through their internal stuff for a while before someone caught him. He got in big trouble for that one but I don't know if it even registered in his mind what a huge issue that cold will be. He would do it at school and nobody cared too much. So I don't think he saw an issue doing it out in the real world. He came to my mom the next year or the year after that when his family moved. And my mom was warned not to leave her personal electronics unattended because he would figure out how to get in. My mom had a second grader who skipped the knowledge dump stage and listened better than a grown ass man. For example. And other boys would tell you all their dinosaur facts. He would ask her I am curious M's. Latter dude. What do you think caused the extinction of the dinosaurs? His emotional intelligence was through the roof. I had a student maybe 5-6 years ago. I teach social studies dude didn't come in direct contact with her areas she was truly special. But anyway. She could speak 5 languages pretty fluently. English is her native. She learned French in middle school. Taught herself Russian and Italian for the sake of reading. And learned Indonesian from being around kids in the school and wanting to pick it up. She could write music just from hearing it. Then reproduce it with essentially no time. I don't know if this is common or not. But it absolutely shocked me. She's. Bar none. The best student I've seen as a teacher with regards to conveying herself through written work. She graduated just a few weeks after turning 16. One of those kids who effortlessly glides to top of her class. Last I heard. She was about to graduate in something related to archaeology. HS Jr. could do stoichiometry in his head. But oddly struggled writing the steps on paper. I used to do this with higher level maths. I started taking college algebra in 8th grade and was taking college level calculus by 10th grade. I could do the maths in my head and it was correct. But if I was ever asked to write out the steps or talk through the answer I struggled. It has to do with how our heads process the information. My son has a fascination with nuclear physics and science. He's collected commonly found radioactive minerals that I made him get rid of so the whole house doesn't get cancer. He's researching a way to build a miniature thorium reactor and insists the only reason it doesn't exist now is because people have given up on it. He's 15. My oldest daughter is an incredible artist. But she's got that attitude like her poop doesn't smell bad. She's always made incredible drawings with simple pencils and paper since she was a child. She could capture your likeness in her mind with a glance and draw you out with a piece of standard white typing paper and an office number 2. She's now 18. My youngest daughter watches death metal goats on YouTube. She's about to turn 14. The death metal one is the real genius. Living the dream. I'm not a teacher. But my uncle is a professor at a uni in our state. Semicolon. He teaches a notoriously hard class. Where the final average and in the B range. Some kid managed to get a 99 on the exam. And because it hadn't happened in a few years. My uncle rounded the grade to a 100%. I don't know if he was allowed to. And what's even more crazy is that the last person to get an A plus on the final was the student's F king cousin. Who had recommended the class to him when he found out that he got into the school. Edit. I fixed a typo. Reddit goddamn it let me swear. Edit. Again. I was talking with my uncle last night because his birthday is in a few days, the 26th of March for anyone who cares, and I brought up how I made a post on Reddit and he corrected me as the grade on last year's final exam was in the C to D plus range. With about 20% of the class failing the class. My twin brother. Who we just recently found out that he is on the spectrum for Asperger's. When we were three he would read the old fashioned maps to my mother and tell her where to go. Fast forward to 8 years old. He would read at college level. Now we're 16. 
He's still very smart. But very auto-tune. My mother calls it this due to the fact that he always had different levels of sensitivity, attuned, to certain things. But when I was 3, I was just learning how to eat on my own. I coach Science Olympiad. Which naturally draws some very smart students. I was on a long bus ride with them to nationals and sat next to one of our 7th graders. This kid had to be one of the smartest kids I've ever met. He's brilliant. We ended up playing 20 questions and I decided to be a jerk and do something really hard and specific. Settling on a whiptail lizard. First question. Is it a vertebrate? I said yes. Second question. Does it reproduce parthenogenically? Dot. Yes. Third question. It's a whiptail lizard. Kid got my obscure animal in three guesses. He just graduated high school last year. I believe he's going to an ivy.